Crews back on the streets, meanwhile, taking care of some much needed road construction. But like most industries, they're not immune to the impact of the coronavirus. Aaron Parsegian joining us live with how local road commissions are being affected. Aaron? Yeah, Derek Janice, for starters, crews have already lost a few weeks of the full road construction season, but now that the industry is open back up fully, road commissions are going to deal with some tightening of their budgets. Road construction season is upon us. In Kent County alone, more than $36 million worth of road improvements are scheduled this year. But with more people staying home and spending less at the pump, the Kent County Road Commission is expecting to bring in a lot less money. We're anticipating some uh, reduction in revenues, uh, somewhere in the 7 percent, uh, 7 to 10 percent area is our best estimate at this point. Managing Director Steve Warren says most of the major projects are contracted out and they're working to see how the changes will affect plans. We could see, uh, you know, some of our project schedules get moved back a little bit. Uh, we could even see a project or two get delayed until next year. So we're very much working with them in terms of uh, how can we accommodate the project within this year's schedule and uh, adjust as necessary. So we may be adjusting project limits. We may adjust the type of improvement so that we can continue to deliver on our program, but to do it in the safest way possible. And in the meantime, they will be adding less part-time staff this summer to cut costs. Warren says that and the mild winter we just had will help limit the budget tightening from the reduced revenue. That coupled with the fact that we have been uh, quite frankly, in a mission critical mode for the last uh, few weeks means that we haven't spent as much money. So there's some savings there. So we're going to have to adjust there too in terms of the type of work that we do. So we have limited staff, but again, most of our major work is contracted out. So we'll be working with our contractors to see what their capacity is, but we're still hopeful at this point that we can complete and we've got uh, over 200 miles of scheduled road improvements uh, for our system this year. And Warren doesn't believe that this will have a major impact on their ability to get some of the major improvements done this summer. They're also always looking into things like grants, including one they're looking into with FEMA that could help uh, boost some of their funding. To see a look of their daily work schedule, you can head to fox17online.com. And as the crews head back out on the roads, we want to tell drivers to make sure they are safe, giving them as much space as possible when they're out driving. Also, Fox 17's Rob Westby will be giving you traffic reports again starting tomorrow on Fox 17 Morning News. Live in Grand Rapids, Aaron Parsegian, Fox 17 right. News. Aaron.